Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises. You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that the hard way. They're waiting for you in hell! Then it just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? Are we alone? Yeah, we're, we're alone. Let's get out of here. Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. A hero. So sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. Uh, we need a new moderator. You there! Yes! You. Thank you for volunteering. My downtrodden brothers and sisters of Gotham, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. Mayor Dent. You know, I always assumed Harvey would win, but not like this. Won by default. He's probably pissed he didn't get his landslide fair and square. Hey, Harvey's going to be okay. You don't know that. I just, I keep wondering. Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? Harvey's your best friend. I'm nothing to you. I just don't get it. Fine. Forget it. I don't think I can do this. What are you talking about? I don't want to see what... I just can't, okay? I have to go. I'm sorry. Just go in without me. Harvey needs you right now. Do it for him. I'm sorry, Bruce. I wish I could. You can. It's my fault he's in there. I don't have anything to say to him that would make this better. Please, Bruce. Don't tell him I was here. I don't think he'd understand. Gotham is still reeling after last week's mayoral debate. With the drugging and subsequent murder of Mayor Hamilton Hill, Harvey Dent was left running unopposed. After a rather lackluster election, Mayor Dent was sworn in from his hospital bed. Word is, he's still recovering from major hey, injuries Bruce. sustained at the event. Harvey, I am so sorry this happened. Hey, come on. It's not your fault. Yeah, well, I'm sorry anyway. I haven't actually seen it yet. You've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. I mean, my family, we heal quick. Could be fine. It's... It's what's on the inside that counts, right? You'll always be beautiful to me, Harv. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, that's what they tell the girl who doesn't get asked to prom. Yeah, easy. I appreciate the effort, though. Oh, what have you got there? I, uh... <laughs> I brought you some flowers. Though I see I'm not the first. Yeah, well, my mother and my secretary, uh, every sick boy's dream. <laughs> One woman I thought would visit, or at least call, hasn't. Selena's been a no-show. I thought she'd at least come by to congratulate me, if nothing else. 
Guess we weren't as close as I thought. Guess I can't blame her. The way I look now. It sounds pathetic to say it out loud, waiting on a girl, but there it is. I am glad you're here, though. God, it's been infuriating. Just sitting here and having nothing but time to think about what happened. I wish I could make myself turn it off completely. Watching footage of the debate over and over. Look at me, preaching it. What a great guy you are while I go and get my face bashed in. It's easy. Every news station is showing it. Just regurgitating the same old sound bites. Don't do this to yourself. There's nothing you can do to change what happened. Replaying that moment will only drive you crazy. Yeah, I know that. But here I am. Trust me. You need to stop. I was helpless, Bruce. Helpless. Couldn't do anything. Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. Hey, thanks. What they did to Hill, to the moderator. I have to live with that. But you heard them up there. The Penguin and that maniac on screen. Oh, this isn't over. I need to stay ahead of them. They're trying to cause discord. That stunt at the debate was just the first step. Gotham is in real danger. All the more reason for me to stand up tonight and give the people hope. Wait, wait, wait. tonight? I, I thought you were supposed to be recovering. My assistant is on her way to pick me up. At the election, I was able to talk the hospital into releasing me early. <sighs> Not that they're too happy about it. All the doctors keep telling me to take it easy. But how can I? Stay in the chair, Mr. Dent. Oh, don't overexert yourself, Mr. Dent. Do what you need to do, Harvey. I know how important this election is to you. Thanks. I'm glad to know that someone around here understands that. Come on, you do the same in my position. Which is why I won't even try to tell you to not look into those tapes. I know how much you loved your father, Bruce. I know that debate was hard on you, too. Finding out your dad drugged Esther Cobblepot? Hill admitting to having both of them killed? It's a lot to process. I'm sorry. Just because I keep reliving it doesn't mean you want to. <sighs> Look, I, uh... I realize what a terrible friend I've been to you. I was so focused on the campaign, I, I thought distancing myself from you was the only option. I'm sorry. You don't have to explain yourself to me, Harvey. It was the right call for the campaign. I get that. Still, I abandoned you when you needed me. That's not the kind of friend I want to be. What is that? Batman symbol. Coming from near the GCPD? <laughs> That's one way to get the guy's attention. And look, I, I should get going, Harv. What? Already? What else do you have to do? <laughs> My assistant won't be here for another hour. It's, uh, it's Alfred. Is he okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. he just needs to talk to me. Yeah, of course, go ahead. Uh, tell the old man I said hi. You, uh, you rest up, Harth. Thanks, Bruce. Pursuit of suspects westbound on 15th Street. Is it the children of Arkham? Can you confirm? Negative. They're taking shots at us whenever we get close. Understood. Stay on them. We'll think of something. A little help would be nice. Hang in there, all right? Oh, they knew we'd be there, Jim. We don't have enough officers to deal with this. Look, everyone stretched thin. I'm doing what I can. I have to go. That light. 
has a bat on it, Jim. You give me a number to call, I'll rethink my methods. I, I'm just glad it got your attention. I didn't have a lot of options. So, here we are. Well, it worked. I'm here. I appreciate it. Things are a mess. I'd rather have you arrested than come to you for help. But the truth is, we're desperate. I'm calling a truce. Just for tonight. Bring me up to speed. Right. Rene Montoya, one of my officers. The one who tried to shoot me. I know, but hear me out. She's trying to clear her name after those animals manipulated her into killing Falcone. She's supposed to be on leave, but she got a tip on the children of Arkham's chemical stash, went rogue. She's out there alone, and I can't spare anyone to back her up. I told her to wait, but this is personal. The children of Arkham pumped her full of that junk. She's a good cop. One of my best. I'll find her. We'll take down the children of Arkham together. That's what I like to hear. These children of Arkham are everywhere all of a sudden. Where the hell they all come from? I, mean, I never heard of them before. Then that debate. Oh, they're tearing up the entire city. Never mind how this began. We have to focus on ending it. If you've got any bright ideas how to do that, I'm all ears. Gordon, this is Schultz. Over. Gordon here. We got a problem with the mayor, sir. What happened? Is he okay? I don't know. We lost him. He took off and left us behind. Christ, one more crisis I can't deal with right now. We've got to keep both Montoya and Dent safe. Somehow. I'm on it. You there? Always. Launch the drones. I need eyes on the city. Lucius has made some upgrades. I'll let him explain. Who are you talking to? You got a whole team or something? Don't know why I thought I'd get an answer. All right, patching you through to R&D in Wayne Enterprises. Batman, so listen. The first model was only equipped for visual surveillance, but seeing how you used them at the skyline, I thought you'd need an audio feed as well. The microphones are incredibly sensitive. They can pick up sounds from up to 500 yards. In some cases, you'll even be able to hear through walls, like... X-ray peering. I'll think of a better name. Nice work. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Any idea where they might be? Montoya's car was spotted crossing the bridge to Arkham Island. Could be where the handoff is happening. What about Dent? I'm probably headed to his acceptance speech. They just left the hospital and we lost sight of him. Barrels of this stuff to transfer. And not a big window to unload all of that. They said they wanted it done tonight, so it's gotta be done. You wanna argue with them? Be my guest. You just keep an eye out for that cop. Nobody move! This is the police! Dinner! Headed to the construction site. Send whatever men you can spare after Dent. I'll round up what officers I can. Gonna have to head out there myself, too. I know this is risky, Batman. Just be careful. Unit 6, requesting backup. Corner of 15th and Main. We got a major disturbance here. Several armed suspects on the loose. It's 
over. Drop the gun. Look, I promise I'm not gonna shoot you, okay? I used to think you were a threat, but I was wrong. We both have much bigger problems right now. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Those guys had me pinned down. If you hadn't shown up when you did, I... You want forgiveness? Look somewhere else. I just want you to know... I've got your back, all right? I don't know what I was thinking, coming out here alone. I nearly blew it. I could be dead. Or you could be dead. And it'd be on me. Good instincts, but you need to think things through. Be patient. Don't rush. I may not be there to save you next time. Yeah, I owe you big for this one. I still don't understand how they knew I was coming. Heads up. The cops just sent three black and whites to stop our guys going after Dent. In the chatter, sounds like Gordon's with them. Someone's gotta help Gordon. They know he's coming. Go. I'll see what I can find here. I'm not giving up on this. Alfred. Are you all right? Yeah, but they knew I was coming. They seem to be getting info on the GCPD's whereabouts. Not sure how. I need an update on Harvey. I'm bringing it up now. Deborah, get down! <gasps> Mr. Dent, what did you do to him? I said get back in the car! There's more of them coming! Put down your weapon! There's so many of them! Put them in cover! You'd better get down there! On my way. <laughs> Self-defense, he says. New mayor's pretty tough, turns out. Killed one of those guys attacking him with his bare hands. Dent did that? Guess the fellow's lucky Dent got to him before you did, huh? You're wrong about me. I'd have put him in jail. So unless you're making a comment on the justice system, I'm afraid you've been misinformed. You think any of us are buying this recent nice guy routine? We've all heard the stories about you. At least this one died quick. We got our asses handed to us. They knew you were coming. How? We've been using a secure channel. You saying we got a leak? Gordon, Gordon to, to command. command. Anyone, Anyone there? there? Command here. What is it, Gordon? Turn that off. What? what? It's been compromised. The children of Arkham are listening in on the GCPD's communications. Gordon! Gordon, come in! You copy! I'm gonna look into this. I'll let you know what I find. GCPD's been compromised. The children of Arkham were listening the whole time. How? That's what I'm going to find out. Alfred, I'm sending over evidence of some kind of encrypted communication signal. It's coming up on my screen now, but I'm afraid it looks like a bunch of gibberish to me. I need to go to Wayne Tower and look into this. Get me Lucius on the line. Yes, right away. If the public finds out the police aren't able to communicate...
It'll cause a panic. Just what the children of Arkham want. Mass chaos. That seems to be how the Penguin does business. I have Lucius on the line now. Bruce, are you there? I'm looking at this data Alfred sent me. It's messy. I have to know what the children of Arkham are doing. How fast can you decrypt? That's a tough one, but I should have it cracked soon if you can meet me at Wayne Tower. Already on my way. Almost there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the children of Arkham surveillance are worrying. Great. Bruce. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh... I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard times. Must seem silly. After everything that's happened. You know what they say about old habits. To what do I owe the pleasure, Regina? I'm sorry, I just needed to clear my head, sort things out. In my office? I know it's irregular, but it's nice to have a reminder of the Waynes every once in a while, in all their glory. I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be, whether to dismiss you or not. You have to understand, Bruce. This company is bigger than any one individual. We have to keep face. And after this scandal... It makes sense. Logistically. The company needs to separate itself from the Wayne name. It's a cowardly move to look good for the press. I wasn't expecting you to roll over so easily, Bruce. Bruce, I've got something. You need to get down here. Now! I worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce. You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us. When they fall, it's a terrible blow to everyone around them. Then go tell that to the board. What do you think I'm trying to do, Bruce? I'm not your enemy. You should remember that. Don't forget who your allies are, Mr. Wayne. I'll come find you after. I'll be right down, Lucius. Good to hear she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. I know the cave is well equipped, but all of this is owned and paid for by the company. It doesn't matter what the board does. We'll be fine. I'm not going to let anything get in the way of what we're doing down here. Try saying that when you can't access this wing anymore. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? 
It's Wayne Tech Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh, build a back door into that tech... You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into this system? So that's the thing. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Well, no shortage of bad news lately. Might as well just pile more on. Well, you see this back door they're using. I built it. You? What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. <laughs> I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's gonna take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains, how did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it, not unless they knew what they were looking for. Whoever broke in certainly knew how to cover their tracks. We have a mole. There's no way they could have gained access without someone on the inside. Only a handful of people at the highest level could possibly find out about the back door. I'm gonna keep working on this Children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. Uh, Tiffany's really taking after you. And Luke, stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become, and I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Always. Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Nice. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. Thermal vision? <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? Not sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selina. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. I always wonder why you had a table that could hide itself. Guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me, it was much more paranoia than precaution. <sighs> Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. Now, before you do, Here. 
Get that back to the Bat Computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the Children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. Mr. Wayne, Bruce, open up. I thought maybe you left. Yeah, right. <sighs> well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. We were out of options, I'm afraid. This is just a temporary setback. Well, that's entirely up to you, Bruce. You need to prove to the board that you can be trusted in the seat. Just lie low. Don't cause a scene. It'll turn out. I ask to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I see where they're coming from. <sighs> Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO, just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, old boy. Good to see you again. As you know, Oswald's parents were... Well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine... Cobblepot sits easier on the tongue. I hear you've been keeping yourself pretty busy, Oswald. You sure you can handle this? I mean, wasn't there a revolution that you had to handle? I'm a brilliant multitasker. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Well, then I guess congratulations are in order. It's nice to know you'll be the one trapped in this tiny office all day. Oh, I'm sure it's bigger than it looks. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Oh, Bruce and I can handle it. No trouble. Right, Bruce. Apologies, I don't know where my head was. Probably halfway out the door, mate. No worries. Yeah. 
Yeah, that must be it. Careful clean that up, Oz. You might cut yourself. Time to go, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. Time to go. I have a little redecorating to do. Your taste is a little too discreet for me. I think that maybe I'll add a fish tank. A large one. Something exotic. This way, Bruce. I'll have IT come set you up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Regina. It happened, didn't it? They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. Just stay out of it. Don't go near it, and they won't be able to connect it to you. It's not that easy. Lucius, I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. But I can't risk Cobblepot finding out what I'm up to. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new bat tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. Thanks, Lucius. Keep that drive safe. speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. That's why I'm glad I have you, Al. Always. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Filter for possible targets based on known Children of Arkham activity. committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. These date back decades. Alfred, the video at the debate. It's real. This is how they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. City Hall, record of Gotham mayors. Hill had been in office for so long, it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't mayor. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot. Deceased. 
two weeks before the election. Well, I... Yes, yes, I know it takes time. It's the understatement of the century. Considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes, just please let me know when it happens. The children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Are you done here, sir? Not yet. I wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. This is ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Considering the alternative, yes. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Good. One less problem to deal with. Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. Welcome back, Mr. Wayne. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Uh, Harvey? Uh, back here, Bruce. Uh, take a seat. I'll be right out. Oh, come on, not today. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, God, I have to stop. <laughs> you, uh, you need some help back there? Uh, no, no, I, I'm, I'm fine. Well, that's as good as it's gonna get. Uh, you know, Bruce, I've been looking forward to this my entire career. The day Harvey Dent takes his official portrait as mayor of Gotham. And he looks like this. I'm glad you survived the trip up here, Bruce. You want to tell me what's going on? I didn't keep you waiting that long, did I? I have reason to believe you're being watched. You sound paranoid, Bruce. The children of Arkham are hacking into the GCPD. They're likely keeping tabs on you, too. I'll handle it. Thank you, Bruce. Children of Arkham jump me. God, it's only getting worse. It's out of control. I can't stop it. This can't continue. What are you gonna do to stop him? Not enough. It's never enough. Harvey Dent does everything by the book, to the letter of the law. But that isn't working. I'm sure it is. He's turning things around. Barely. Slowly. I'd like to see you do better. Watch me. Now are you gonna fix this mess? Simple. Easy. Curfews after dark. Checkpoints at every bridge. Mandatory identification cards. 24-7 video surveillance. You're acting strange, Harvey. This whole city's acting strange! Harvey. 
Sorry. S sorry about that, Bruce. I uh, guess I got a little lost there. I'm probably not getting enough sleep these days. Stress. It's just the stress. Sure it is. Look, we're both under a lot of stress right now. We, we should be able to lean on each other. Stronger together, right? It's the only way. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce. Don't tell anyone about this. If anyone finds out or thinks I'm not fit to be mayor, it's all over. Everything I've worked for. Just keep this between us. <sighs> See you around, Bruce. An interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Bruce? Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. Yeah, if she's been able to talk to their leader, then by extension, so can we. You think she'd hand that information over to Bruce Wayne? Unlikely. I stonewalled her at the GCPD after Falcone was shot. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who? Who is this? Hello? Batman. I didn't realize that Batman was a fan of my work. Didn't say I was a fan. Just said I wanted to talk. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. Nothing is ever this easy, especially not when you're a reporter. Okay, gonna make me do the teeth pulling then. So, <laughs> Batman, I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. I don't want this conversation recorded. I thought we were here for an interview. Turn it off. Fine. Their message is picking up traction, especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. Gotham needs to know how dangerous the children of Arkham really are. You are hiding the truth. Huh. 
My editor says the physical copies are practically sold out. I'd say the truth is getting out there. It just may not be the side you like. But that's why I'm here. To get the other half I'm missing. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. You're putting the safety of everyone in Gotham at risk. Well, if you really care about the safety of Gotham, why aren't you looking at Bruce Wayne? I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but... With the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone. Except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. No investigation. Bruce Wayne is innocent. He's not responsible for what his father did. Maybe not, but he still benefits from it. All those people suffered so that he could prosper up in that mansion of his. I don't know if you have some connection with him. Maybe there's more to this story than I realize. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So, what are you gonna do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people want to know. Believe me, I'll make sure Bruce Wayne's debt is repaid. Gotham will be glad to hear it. Thank you. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> we are not done. We had a deal. You're right. You upheld your end. God, I could lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, don't tell anyone I gave this to you. Everything's dark, quiet, it's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham? They may not have gone far. They should be there. No security, no emergency staff. If Vicky's right, it shouldn't be this quiet. Be on your guard. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. He's been dead for a while from the looks of it. One of the children of Arkham. Loyalty doesn't get you much with these people, does it? Seems strange. There's something else. This man's veins. They look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only they're so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? He was shot dead center. Twice. Executed. It outlived his usefulness, I suppose. They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. This depot is pretty centrally located. A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. 
This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27 minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. I need to know what they're going to do with the drug, exactly how they're planning on releasing it. These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. Someone's been practicing chemistry. Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. Looks like they ran out of the chemical they were mixing it with. What are they planning to do with this? Traces of both chemicals here. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. This train car has been modified. Clearly the holding tank. It's empty, for now. Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. This isn't dangerous enough to be their plan. I need to know where their target is. The modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. They're manufacturing the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. 
Good thing you reduced their supply at the construction site. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming! Take cover! If I'd known you were going to make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. We're down to our last few barrels since Batman screwed up the transfer. We'll have to make do, I guess. Okay, you two, get these mixed, loaded onto the train. This way. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. They did have a price on her head after all. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobblepot. <laughs> Death might be preferable. I know what you have planned with the Skyrim. It's not going to happen. Then killing you both will have to be a consolation prize. Thanks, Bats. Train's ready! Move out! Decide when this ends. <laughs> you have to face the truth sometime, Batman. You can't protect Gotham from itself. They lit the fire. We're just here to stoke the flames. Saddest thing is, they don't even see the smoke. The people of Gotham are stronger than you think. They won't let this city fall into chaos. You'd be surprised. Fear can be incredibly persuasive. Go on. Show me how you'll save your precious city. Just...
So short sighted. Hang in there. Don't pass out on me. Come on, bats. Stay here, okay? Just don't move. I'm fine. I just need to get back out. That might work on your butler, but I'm not buying that crap. Stay there. Shit. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? Uh, huh. What? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. They would've killed you. <laughs> You're one to talk. <laughs> I never pick a fight I can't win. I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. I feel like I owe you anyway. That's twice now. You just keep adding things to my list, don't you? Selena. I told you I don't like owing people. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader? I had a plan. Really didn't need you swooping in and messing it up. I was there, tracking the children of Arkham. I had no idea you'd be there. Must have been quite the surprise. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. Why even stay in Gotham? You could just leave. Trying to get rid of me? <laughs> Come on. Tired of starting over, I guess. Oh, look who's back. Hey, little one. I don't think she likes you. <laughs> okay, she really doesn't like you. 
Yeah, well, you've got most of Gotham behind you on that. Well, not most. Maybe half. Just trying to be optimistic. <laughs> Cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something. So what is it you're hiding, Selena? All kinds of things. Come on, Bruce. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world, and won't let anyone else see? I don't have any secrets from you. You know, I have heard that a thousand times, but you might be the first to actually mean it. You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. Proving I can. I'm never really sure if I can trust you. Can't say I blame you for that. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but... I've taken plenty from good people, too. For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town? The high is nice, but... It wears off. Then you look around and see... Nothing. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. It's not the same, but... I know what you mean. After everything we do, everything we're capable of, coming home just feels... Like a disappointment. Right. Hmm. I was hoping for something more than that. Do I have to do all the work myself? Or are you gonna undo this for me? Let me help you. Mm. It's what you do best, isn't it? Are you trying to tease me, Bats? Is it working? Well, I guess that means I'm making breakfast. Wow. You even know how to work a toaster, rich kid? I am offended. Aw, oh, too bad. 
I think there might be bagels in the fridge. Would definitely check expiration dates on anything. Before you think about putting it in your mouth. Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. I hadn't heard from you. I didn't know what happened if... I, uh, took a bit of a beating when I ran to the children of Arkham. What happened? It's kind of a long story. I'll tell you about it when I get back. <sighs> I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Well, that certainly explains it. I really like her. I'm sorry, are you smiling? You can't tell if I'm smiling. I know you, sir. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around. If she's trustworthy, you may not have another chance. She let me into her home. I'm not going to go snooping around in her personal belongings. I understand. Merely a suggestion. At the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. Right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. There you are. I uh, hope she didn't break anything. Scarlet Pimpernel, much ado about nothing. Petrarca. Hm. Didn't take her for a romantic. What's this one? Oh, the Gita Govinda. That's academic. Pretty strong magnets on these things. Very lightweight, though. They could use something like this. This was an exhibit at the Gotham Museum of Art. I helped raise the funds for it. Lucius even set up new security for the museum. How did she get in? Looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. At least she's got the essentials. Ah! Harvey. Hey. I, uh, I brought breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get this out. Bruce? What the... Seriously? What are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. Bruce, tell me what is going on. I spent the night here. That's it. You... You... I can't believe Calm this! Down. Don't! Don't touch me! I thought I would come here and... So stupid! 
God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me. None of it was real anyway. God, how could you ever think it was? I shouldn't have come. What are you talking about, Harvey? You two were never a couple to begin with. But you knew! You two done. You want something, you gotta say so. Nobody's responsible for your hurt feelings. He... He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just... Get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? You can't stop them! He can't. Are you ready to die on that altar? Even he sees the truth in it. I'm only gonna ask one more time. I'm not going anywhere! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Oh my god. This... This is the monster they all know that you are. Embrace it! No! No! Oh god, this is what you wanted to see, isn't it, huh? The freak! Harvey... Alright, now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with it! Starting with you. Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. Who am I? Yes, you are. This isn't you. Just calm down! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Of course, gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it, one way or another. Uh, how about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No, no, it really isn't. Selena, looks like you're first. Getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me. The call's already been made. Harvey. Bruce. No. I don't want to hurt you. This isn't. They turned their backs on you. Harvey, put the knife down. <sighs> Selena. <sighs> He's gonna hurt someone. You know we can take him out. Have you lost your mind? No. He's not gonna stop. Harvey! You need to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. with him. But I can't. Oh, God, I can't listen to him. Who are you talking about? There's no one else here. That's... It's no one. It's just me. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. He's my friend, Selena. I'm not going to abandon him. He needs professional help. Help you can't give him. It's okay, Bruce. I'll go. I don't deserve your help. Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> 
so much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. You don't need to be afraid of Harvey. You can handle him. Yeah, because I really want to stay here wondering when he'll show up. If he'll be armed, if I'll be ready. No thanks. Yeah, that means you too. We won't go far. Don't worry. You should come stay with me. Uh, I don't know. There's plenty of space. Alfred could set up a guest room for you. I'll think about it. Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. No, uh, I need to keep my composure, bide my time. If I start spilling secrets, I'll just look desperate. I guess you're the businessman. You better get going. I've got some packing to do. The offer still stands. Sounding better and better by the minute. I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please. Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. A step to regaining what you're being forced to give up. You're right. This is my legacy, and the only reason I'm putting up with this charade. Yes. Well, as long as you cooperate, I suppose your motivation is irrelevant. Already then? We are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. Beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well-deserved comeuppance, a noble hero riding in to save the day. This really does have all the elements. I wouldn't be so confident if I were you, Oz. The show hasn't started yet. Maybe for you, but I've read your script, so I already know how this story is going to end. That's enough, both of you. It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you, and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny? And we've all How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Technology Me, and take it everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. No, dear heart. Not even close. We have no one's going to follow you around and take pictures now. It'd almost be sad if you were so bloody handsome. I know who you really are, Oz. And I'm going to expose you. Oh, knowing and proven are two very different things, Bruce. This is just a first step towards making things right. Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Waynes, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham, and Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. That is not going to happen. Oh, don't be a sore loser, Bruce. It doesn't look nice on you. Oh, 
I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it, aren't you, Bruce? Last offer, Bruce. Fine. Suit yourself. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, in light of recent allegations against my family, I have decided to voluntarily step down as CEO of Wayne Enterprises. I was horrified to learn of my father's corruption. I am ashamed of his actions and would like to apologize to Gotham for the pain he has caused so many of you. I'm sorry. That's it, mate. I worry for the future of Wayne Enterprises. The decisions made in the next few days will be critical in shaping what that future will be. Careful, Bruce. Mr. Wayne, are you having trouble reading the teleprompter? Uh. <laughs> Speak up. Security! Step back, Mr. Wayne. Oh, that was quite a show you put on, Bruce. <clears throat> My apologies, folks. Please forgive me, Mr. Wayne. Everyone. I, for one, completely understand his behavior today. Nice After statement. All, the press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. We can talk about it later. Later? No. This needs to happen right now. Drop your pen. That's not... I should know. I'm sure some of you remember the formal beauty of Cobblepot. You feel that? That's a drug taking hold of you. Don't fight it. You? You're with the children of Arkham. No. I am the children of Arkham. I think it's time you knew my real name. I am. And you already know the Penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, a smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we could just get one more round of applause for our friend, the man of the hour, Bruce Wayne! Ouch, someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice?
after his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. That is why, regrettably, I made the decision to have my old friend hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. Batman, the children of Arkham, the Penguin. Doesn't Gotham already have enough deranged criminals terrorizing its streets? I believe that Gotham citizens deserve to be safe, that they deserve to be protected. Even if that means I have to do it myself. With the children of Arkham out in full force, we need him now more than ever. Where is Batman? <laughs>